What's up? Say your name. Elena Howard. <laughs> okay, and what do you like to do? Sing, dance, paint. So um, you're super artistic. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And how old are you? Nine. Nine. And you're so well spoken. Thank you. And you're so ready for the world. What do you want to be when you grow up? <laughs> you don't know? A director. A director. A singer. Oh my god. A dancer. Oh my god. An artist. <laughs> what else? There's a lot more. You want to just be artistic and creative in life, right? Mm -hmm. That's awesome. That's awesome. That's how I was <laughs> when I was little. Seriously, I used to draw all the time. I used to like play around. I used to I, I used to do all that stuff. So you can do whatever you want. You can. You can. So here we are. Here you are. Okay, this is your <laughs> debut on my vlog. Okay. It's gonna be on there. Okay. Okay? So okay. what do you want to say to the people? Hi. Hi. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and she's gonna be a star. She's gonna be a star. Whatever she does, there you go. Good morning, y'all. It is day two of me being back in the gym. So basically what happened was I started traveling a bunch and I could not keep up with, you know, being active. So, um, yeah, uh, I know a few of you guys asked me and I talked about it a little bit on my vlog, like, uh... Maybe a couple weeks ago. Um, and so basically now I have gotten my life together. I am um, adjusting my workout schedule to be able to work out while I'm here in Dallas and also when I'm in Oregon. So um, I'm not, you know, doing the most at all. I'm just adding some cardio into my regimen and really just focusing on trying to like start doing something that will stick for me and not you know stressing out about it um for me it's like i go really hard for a while and then i like get exhausted and then i stop and you know i'm really trying to um change my life you know like change my lifestyle and i've been you know um really um, trying to understand kind of like the way that my brain works um, and what is good for me and what works for me and um, and that's all health like not even just working out physically but also you know how much time do I need in a day to meditate to just relax to take care of myself like on the inside and on the outside so um, I'm taking my time and trying to find fun ways for me to um you know just find things that make me feel good and that are good for me so yeah um so yesterday i went to the gym and for the first time in like ugh, probably like a month um honestly and it was good it felt good i did not do a lot i just you know ran a bit and uh and then did some weightlifting. Um, today, I feel like I'm just gonna run because that's all I wanna do. And that's my whole focus at this point is only do what I wanna do and when I'm ready to um, up the ante and like do more intense workouts and stuff like that, like I'll do that. But I just wanna get to a point where it feels normal to get up and go to the gym. It feels like I can't start my day without doing that. Like that's the point I'm trying to get to. So baby steps, you know? And um, I think that I had, I, basically I, I had this uh, conversation with myself the other day, which is what really got me to, you know, buckle down and be like, Jade, like just do it was you know because i i tell you guys that all the time and i tell people that all the time like if there's something that you want to do if there's something that you want to achieve like you have to just do it like you can't not go out there and, and go for it and um i was talking to myself which i do often i was talking to my inner self and i said self why are you not doing this like why are you not going to the gym why are you not 
making time and I was listening to a podcast with and the lady that was speaking on there super like busy doing amazing things and she was like um you know her workout session is an appointment with herself that she never cancels on and I was like yo that is so true because it's like you make time all day every day to go to work to make this meeting or that meeting or do this or do that for that person and it's like what are you doing for yourself and I had to I asked myself that and I was like I don't know what I do for myself in that way that I make it a priority um, so I was like that's how I have to do it if I tell myself that getting up and working out is an appointment with myself that I cannot miss and I make it kind of like click as like a business thing for me um, because I take work so seriously and I'm such a hard worker that kind of ignited something in my brain that said yeah exactly let's schedule it let's plan it and let's be on time let's not you know and I'm not a flake when it comes to like meetings and stuff like if I say I'm gonna be somewhere I'm gonna be there and that's how I have kind of gotten my mind to wrap around working out at this point so and just like every other meeting every meeting isn't super intense every meeting is not going to be 40 minutes long some meetings are 15 minutes long some meetings are two hours long whatever that meeting calls for will happen and so that's how i'm taking every workout session with myself and also a time to listen to my favorite podcast to breathe to inhale exhale like just get a feel for what my body is doing so yeah and i feel really excited about that and i feel remotivated so i'm about to go meet with jade real quick and i will be back later see y'all soon so it's about 11 a.m So I was up till probably about 3 or 4 a.m. last night um, just trying to digest and conceptualize, you know, the election of Donald Trump as the United States of America president. Um, and okay, so last night I was super upset, obviously. I was very, very upset. And you know, a lot of people on social media were really upset. And then this morning when I wake up, I see, you know, people are still upset, but there are a lot of people who are, you know, um, trying to be optimistic and encouraging and showing strength and, you know, calling on everyone to, to, to harness their faith and believe that God has us taken care of and I completely agree um, it's these times where I really feel discouraged um, and I feel like there's a lot of people who are in my same shoes as far as feeling like you know I, I will never question God and I will never question his plan because even before Donald Trump was elected I prayed about it I said God you know I, I understand that your hand is in this and I understand that whatever your will is will be done and that it is taken care of already but I just pray that you make your presence felt and known by people who are feeling discouraged on either side so whenever the verdict was you know stated and and we had came to the realization that wow he's really about to uh lead our country for the next four years um i was incredibly discouraged and i felt an overwhelming feeling of defeat honestly that's like the best word i could use because it's kind of like this person who has incited so much hate, hate, hatred and so much disregard for people's lives and all of that being in the question it's just kind of unbelievable that someone like that could rep now represent us like we're supposed to be okay with just accepting him as our president and you know it's crazy because I'm sure that there are Republicans 
or people, you know, whoever on the other side of this who may have felt similar ways about President Obama whenever he was elected both times. But one distinct difference, well, there's more than one distinctive. There's multiple distinct differences between President Obama and Donald Trump. And I'm not going to say and go through all of that, but there is a difference. And I think everyone can see that. And, you know, I've been listening to CNN and CNBC, uh, CBS and MB MSNBC, you know, all these damn news outlets and trying to kind of get like what are the experts saying what are the political analysis people saying and everybody's like what the fuck basically um and that essentially everything that we as americans have known as politics is basically thrown out the window and that we don't know what the future is going to hold and we hope that you know donald trump's rhetoric takes a turn because at the end of the day while he was so divisive now he has to lead all of us like he has to convince all of us to support him and not even just like people who voted democrat but republicans who were like are you kidding like there's no way you could lead our country like it's crazy so you know i'm i'm interested to see how he responds and how he takes this on and you know I watched his acceptance speech last night and you know somebody yelled out kill Obama like it and, and and it startled his son and it's just like really really this is openly gonna happen now you know what I'm saying this got t sort of disrespect and lack of care and tolerance I don't think it's ever existed before in modern history. I mean, maybe in the freaking 1800s when we were slaves. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just unbelievable. But, you know, like I was saying earlier, a lot of people have been tweeting and, and, and writing on Facebook and all this stuff, really encouraging things. And I think that that's incredibly important. Um, I don't feel bad about not being in that place yet because I think that it's okay to feel how you want to feel. I'm giving myself today slash, you know, last night slash today to feel the way that I feel. I don't want to rush my healing process, okay? Like, I'm sorry that I can't be super uplifting, you know, hours after we find out that he's our president like I'm just not there yet and you know I know that I'll get there probably in the next day or two but I think it's incredibly important and and vital for your own sanity and your own measure of self-care to allow yourself to go through emotions that you you feel and need to go through so for me this was incredibly upsetting and meant more than just one person being our president. And this is, it means so much more. It means there was a message sent to me. Per I took this election so personally and there was a message sent to people of color, um, immigrants, people with disabilities. I mean, the LGBTQ community, I mean, like, Every other group got a message, um, and it wasn't a good one. Um, so it's just scary. I think for me, it's really, really scary about the unknown. And I, I believe that God has us, y'all. I believe that, like, I don't want this to come off as I don't have faith because y'all know I do. Like, Yes, but I don't believe that having faith means that you can't mourn. I don't believe that having faith means that you can't feel disappointed and you can't feel discouraged. I don't think that you should stay in those emotions, but those emotions exist for a reason because we are allowed to feel that way. So, you know, I had some people, I posted a snippet of like my me talking last night um on instagram and there were a few people saying how you know i shouldn't be upset and it's not that deep and you know all these things and 
you know, I appreciate my, you know, some of y'all that spoke up for me because I don't like to go into it justifying my emotions because I feel like I don't need to do that, which so I don't kind of thing. But um, people kind of were like, yo, like Jade can feel the way she wants to feel. Like, don't sit here and t tell her how to feel type of thing. And I was thinking the exact same thing. I'm like, you can't sit here and tell me that I can't feel the way that I feel. Like, no, no, you can't do that. So um, dealing with that um, and just people not understanding, like, it's more than just one person. It's more than just a president being elected. It's, it, this is a shift, a serious shift in our country and I have a feeling that it will work out for the better because like any other social shift in societal norms it gets it, it, it ends up working out for the better type of deal but I truly believe that it's gonna get worse before it gets better um, and you know it's super unfortunate but I think about a lot of got a lot of y'all said on you know social media how you know our ancestors lived through slavery through Jim Crow through all these different experiences we can get through four years of Trump and you know that that right there gave me uh, solace that gave me a little bit of peace because they're totally right like that statement gave me strength because if they can be strong I can be strong and you know by no means are we in a state where we're, we're in a state where slavery is okay and all that but I think the like social consciousness of it and the psychological impact um, is still there um, and something that we will have to cope with as individuals and as a country so okay tell them about it well cut it so um there's this guy I used to work with in Dallas super cool guy older guy um he just has a dope spirit and I've given him some stuff in the past just because and he's always been like very you know, nice about it and appreciative and grateful. Um, so I got ready to leave and come here and he was like, hey, I have something for you. I'm like, cool, like I appreciate it, um, like anything. So he asked for my address here. I get to the office today. They didn't know who I was because I'm still new. So they're like, we have a first part um, package for this guy named Mark. And I'm like, that's me. <laughs> and I opened the box and it had this dope email about, you know, He's an older guy, and he may have worn this back in the day, but he can't see himself wearing it now, and I have, like, style, so he wanted to give me something special. And he actually sent me an OG sample from 92 from the With OG the Air Jordan line. Tag still on it, still in great condition, never worn. Um, the original Nike embroidery on the sleeve, in case you guys don't know, um... Nike owns Jordan Brand. Jordan Brand was once, you know, a Nike entity, but but yeah, it's in great condition, never worn. I, I was like at a loss for words. This is like beyond my style. I don't know if anybody has this in the world, let alone brand new, with their OG tag on it. Like this dude is amazing. <laughs> I still can't like awesome. I've like literally like stared at this. I was at my desk like, no way. And people were like, yo, what you geeking out about? I'm like, look. <laughs> it was like, no way. And it got the tag. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> and Jay like put it in the frame. She, I'm wearing this. I said put it in a frame because it's I'm, so like mint condition, you know? Like literally, he was like, don't, don't mind the um, don't mind the hanger marks. I'm sure you can find a way to get it out. Hanger marks, I don't care. Like <laughs> This is brand new, like never worn. <laughs> like it feels, it's it's like, I like vintage stuff, like changing it up. You know, I'm a '90s baby. Shout out to the '90s babies. Um, and yeah, this right here is like, you can't buy this. You can't buy this. 
It's a sample. I man, I'm wow. This is crazy. I'm so excited. So today was a good day. Today was a great day. I mean, then my baby here. You know what I mean? I've been missing the hell out of her. So she's here. Um. So yeah, today was a good day. The game is I'm gonna say a person's name, a figure, public figure, and then you tell me the first word that comes to mind. Okay. So for example, if I say Sade. Queen. Michael Jackson. Star. Bill Clinton. Monica Lewinsky. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry Rice. Who? Wow. Is he LeBron a LeBron James. Oh, uh, goat. Do people say like goat? <laughs> Mark Gottbolt. Babe. Hey. I wanted you to say like sexual chocolate or something, but babe will work. <laughs> uh, Eddie Murphy. Nutty Professor. Jay Kendall. Boss. Simone Kendall. Boss. <laughs> Colin Kaepernick. Activism. But he didn't vote. By the way, did you see that? He okay, didn't vote. So That's kind of crazy. No, go on YouTube and put in um Stephen A. Smith. Oh, he's Colin when he Kaepernick. went in. Oh, he I know, off. I know. He, he was in. like, I don't care who you are. You I do agree all with that. Him. I agree, with, I agree with, I agree with him. I agree with him. I agree with him because if you can sit there and you can kneel at the national anthem and all of that, like you can go out there and vote. Like you're exercising one right, but then not exercising the other. It's like that done. That don't sit right with me. Which that's personally. why I respect. Um, remember Ernie from last night, um, the, um, from NBA tonight on TNT last night. They were talking about, you know, like their stances on the election. Oh, yes, yes. And he was like, he went to the polls. He didn't vote for Hillary or Donald. He but he, for still, somebody but he else, still went and voted. But he still voted, yeah. So, but Stephen A went in. Stephen A was like, I'm making a personal um, request to all media. Don't give him no more camera time. Which is so unfortunate because it's like, damn. Pass. Like, <laughs> you was really, tr like, you was really giving people hope. You was really like, like, really like being woke and then you don't go vote and like my thing is like a lot of people be saying like oh being like extra extra woke or whatever means that you're not going to subscribe to this white supremacist society that we live in and you're not going to participate in these fake um democratic people say that like they feel like we should just like exit out of the whole situation just not participate but my thing is is that that's the that's that doesn't get us as a as a nation anywhere because we're just as black people are just as American as white people that's where people get confused yes we were brought here during the slave times like unwillingly but at the same time we have built our lives and generations have been here so it's just as much as our country as anybody else's so for us to not participate in election and using our constitutional right which our ancestors and our families died for us to be able to do that's unacceptable this is my question do you think Malcolm X voted no he didn't because he was a felon and I feel like if he did have the right to vote he would have so you think that Marcus Garvey voted now this is my thing I don't know if he did or he didn't but, but I don't you necessarily have to think about that. But this is the thing is I it, don't. It's a point all in itself. Well, what what point is that? That some people, some people. I think Martin King actually, voted. I don't. I think he did too. Exactly. But so, people, I'm. What I don't know what point you're trying to make. What I'm trying to say I'm is saying that sometimes when people are feel very, very, I'm not saying I agree with him, especially on the stance that he's taking, um, or not voting because of like who he is and the attention that he's brought himself. But my point is that at the end of the day, some people. To your point, really don't want to be a part of any type of activism. Um, right, but, the, but don't like sit here and make a statement by kneeling in front of the entire world, essentially, saying that you are trying to stand up against, you know, suppression or whatever, but then you don't go and vote, which is okay, the only I mean, way that our yeah, voice is heard. Because it's not the only way. Clearly, Politically, has, protesters, but at the end of the day, protesters do not make or change laws. You have to go vote. You have to go exercise that right. Protesting, because, 
draws attention, brings attention. Draws attention. That's all is, it does, though. Which that's is all big it. Deal, but it's a big it's deal. Big. But that's all it does. Action. The so the, what, the action that we could do is vote, not just in presidential elections, but in primaries and local and state elections. Those okay. are the ones that but matter. Okay, but he didn't say that he didn't vote in primaries and stuff like that. He said that he didn't vote for Hillary. Well, that's true. Trump we don't know. Election. That's a good question. He could have voted vote for the Senate. Pre- he could have voted for his neighborhood, you know, councilman. So we don't know that. And I'm sure he probably did. Like, I'm sure I, like there's really I, that he I have a it. feeling that he didn't, okay? Because he if he was trying to really, like, <laughs> make voting, like, feel, make it, because the statement that he made, I can't remember what he said, but the statement that he made made it seem like he didn't support even voting, period. So he to think that... that he, didn't, he didn't vote and he didn't, he hasn't really paid attention to to what's going on because well, he see, said that, he felt like since the first that is unacceptable he said though for you to the, say for him to say i haven't really paid attention to what's going no, on no no no, is, no, no, no 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 let me finish he said that the first um the first um debate was such a debacle to him because there was no clear person that really cared about change like you obviously donald trump didn't and hillary was kind of like riding whatever coattail she had to ride to get in the office so like he felt like regardless of what was going on, there was nothing that was said or done by either candidate that deserved his vote. And I respect that because then he still should that's have gone. He, he still he still should have gone to the polls because guess what? You do not just vote for one person, the president, when you right. go vote. No. You vote for multiple different <coughs> um uh, bills trying to be whatever else, other things that are the referendums that are on the ballot. Yeah, it's more than what? We passed a hell of food places. Well, I haven't me. seen it. Um, There's like a Buffalo Wild Wings behind us. I don't want no Buffalo Wild Wings. There's Wild Burger, whatever that is. We're about to turn into this shopping center. This is, actually pretty, more like, this is the place I was telling you about. The new place. Mike's something he- healthy? Can we get like a salad somewhere? Mike's. I did a dance um, to this. But not me, just me, but my school. Like When I was in like the fourth grade. That's so cute. Like the whole fourth grade. Yeah, the little, little choreography. Yeah, yeah, like that is so cute. And stuff. That, that's pretty dope. Like, I was a beast. I was killing. Like, oh, of course. I was hitting you was folks. On, in, in fourth grade. I was jujuing to this song, like, like to Whitney Houston. I was jujuing to Whitney Houston. Oh my god. Like real talk. Now it's probably I'm walking, but. Good morning. It's Sunday, and I am about to go to the gym. For the fourth time this week. I'm proud of myself, okay? I'm proud of myself. I went from not being in a gym for like a month and maybe a little bit more than a month to going four times in one week. We're doing this. Meetings with Jade. On course. On schedule. But anyway, so hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and I'll see you guys next week. Let me know if you guys want to see something different or there if there's more specific things that you guys want to see in the vlogs. Um, you guys already know that I always take your opinions into consideration when I make videos and stuff. So if there's something that you want me to do or want to see Mark do or something, you know, we're open. I'm just not jujuing. That's, that's, <laughs> that's just not happening. But he really wants it to happen. Um, I know a lot of you guys want it to happen. I just, am I stuffy? Mark has been sick all weekend. And of course I've been here, you know, hugged up on him, knowing that he's sick. But I was, I started taking medicine like two days ago. Why did Mark just text me? Okay, we supposed to be healthy, right? He just texted me, I can't help but walk to Blue Star, which is a donut spot. Do you want anything? No, I don't want anything from the donut store. How am I supposed to do better with my life when he texted me if I want some amazing donuts? And he asked me this yesterday and I had the strength to say no yesterday. And you know what? I have the strength to say no today, okay? Today. No, I don't want no donut. God. I'm going to attach the winners of the doing well contest on here onto this video i've been so bad it's been taking me forever to get through these semesters because i really 
the the scholar in me really dives in and really takes my time reading everything and making the decisions and so basically i've picked everybody at this point um but i'm doing like my final sift through everything and it's going to be attached at the end of this video so keep watching it's at the end of this video <laughs> thank you everyone who submitted though seriously you guys are amazing and awesome and just mind blown like some of you guys the submissions were just beautiful and amazing and the things that you're doing at the ages that you guys are it's just awesome and i love it i'm excited for the winners to see who they are and to connect with you guys and all that so yay but yay for everybody who also submitted too because y'all are awesome as well okay i got another huge giveaway coming so don't worry i have a lot of other things to come as far as like getting you guys stuff and celebrating you guys and giving you things to try out and stuff so no worries wait till next time i got you okay all right i'm supposed to be finishing this vlog all right bye you guys bye